Hey, it's Jeremy James with Lifestyle Real Estate and... You want me to say my name? Yeah. Lahana Jade Smith Bonagowski. Good Lord, you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 18 name. Name. All right, well, we can only introduce ourselves because we can't introduce the show because we don't have a name yet, but you all have been absolutely phenomenal. Um, you have simply blown us up with name suggestions. Yeah, there's all some the really place. good submissions. I'm excited. I, I really am. So what what Lahanna and I are going to do this week, um, we're, we're going to each select the top, our top two, yeah. right? And then we're going to put it up for a vote for the top four names and let you all name our show. And y'all better uh, vote for me or I'm going to be very upset. Yeah, I got money. It's a princess complex. I'm not going to pay you off, but, you know, I, I know where the bourbon's at. Right <laughs> so, um, but I tell you what, we we are we've been so blessed and so thrilled uh, to have all of you come out in such a great way and support us. Uh, it's only been a couple weeks, but it, I mean, it just really seems like yeah to be getting rolling. That's the amount of like feedback we're getting and things like that from people. It makes me really happy. Like it touches a, a place in my cold little heart just oh, because. <laughs> You're like a little cute uh, Disney evil princess. Just like an evil princess. <laughs> no, just because, just especially the world's a little weird right now, finding a new way right. to just connect to ones and have something positive to talk about. You know, the news is exhausting right. oh. and there's really no good news right now. And so whiskey's always good news. Absolutely. Let's just talk about that. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Well, so far we've done we've done the Duke John Wayne. Um, that was our first. Last yeah. week we did the WTD um, dual side by side yeah. tasting. I like the side by side tasting. I did too, mainly because it's extra whiskey at nine a.m. So after we leave here, I have a chiropractor's appointment, and normally a little bit like oh, like tense up and like it's gonna be okay, it's okay. But today I'm be like, yes, you just do it, snap, crackle, and pop. Do it. Well, um, today we're doing um, a couple new riffs. And um, for those of you who don't know, New Riff is a, is a newer, younger name in the bourbon business. Um, they're out of actually out of Covington, Kentucky. They're right out, um, right downtown by the aquarium and everything else. I mean, it's a great spot. I, I've driven by it. Yeah, it, I've yet to go in there, but it. it's, it's on the list. Yep. Um, so it is definitely on, on my list of to-dos. Um, I'm one of the shameful bourbon drinkers who has not attended many of the, of the distilleries. Really? Yeah, That's it's really bad. My husband and I are doing that tomorrow. Um, we're going. Where are you I should know these things. Wild Turkey and Lux Row, maybe. Nice, nice. Okay. Maybe. I don't maybe. Know. Yeah, maybe. She doesn't have a clue. I gotta look at the calendar. She won't. She'll have less of a clue when she's done. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I mean, obviously, my one one of the have tos is the makers because um, you get to do your, your dip and all that. Yeah, stuff. we did that. That was actually the first bourbon tour we ever did was Makers, and right. it was so cool to dip the bottle. And then we moved there and lost the bottle. Just means you have to go back. Oh, darn. Yeah. I'm so um, But they're, they're all doing something new, and almost all of them, for those of you who don't know, if you haven't done some of the distillery tours, almost all the um, gift shops at the distilleries have a specific bourbon, whatever, it's a, it's, a, it's a barrel pick or whatever that is specific to the store. You cannot literally cannot get it anywhere else. Yeah, I had someone talking about the one at Limestone Branch recently, it's over the Yellowstone, right. and they said it is phenomenal. It's in the gift shop. I really need right. to make my way up and get a bottle. And they're, all the distilleries now, they're really kind of upping their game. Um, everybody's got their own little niche thing that they mm -hmm. do differently with their tour. Because I mean, really, once you've seen corn, wheat, and, and whatnot being stewed in a big giant pot, you've seen most distilleries. Right. Um, so at that point, it's about, you know, just seeing what they're doing different. Yeah, why are you all uh, unique? And I like it though, even though one bourbon tour is always similar to the rest of them, you know, right. the same concept. I really like, like there's little nuggets of information I learn at each one. Like I did a tour last week that I'd actually done, what, a month ago? Right. And learned something completely different each time. Like, nice. I like it. It's, it's cool to redo them after a while. Those are cool. Well, again, New Riff, downtown Covington. It's kind of an amazing building. That's the picture of their building. Yeah, it's I'm looking so, at that on this model. It's so really kind of contemporary, edgy, and everything else. I can't wait to get there. Um, so the first one we're going to do is their Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, because that's their standard. Um, we are at 100 proof on this one. And uh, let's see, we've got 65% corn, 30% rye, so it's got to be a little bit brighter and, and, and whatnot, um, and 5% malted. Um, so I'm ready to break into it. Let's go. All right. 
So a little bit of shout out. Oh, hey, what do you guys got going on down here at Copper and Oak um, new? I mean, because like everything is new for um, you guys. We got our stuff in this week, the butane torches, and I was told not to touch them because I'm um, a disaster set the human place being. On fire. Yeah, um, we are about to implement our smoke old fashioned. Oh. Really excited about that. All and right, so tell me about your process. What are you doing? Oh, don't put me in the spot like that. I have a paper over there. <laughs> I got a little cheat sheet. Awesome. Yeah, I have a cheat sheet. I mean, it's smoke old fashioned right? Okay, so you're gonna take some smoke and blow in it. And here's the coolest thing ever. I, I like to smoke cigars and drink bourbon. Um, and one of the things I love to do is take a draw on a cigar and just slowly blow it into the glass mm -hmm. and just let it just kind of spin. That is the coolest thing. That's my machu bone. So what you're saying is you're coming to get a smoke old fashioned. Sounds about, right. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. We're doing that. We're um, getting a couple new desserts. So we've been talking about the cool. ideas. Um, a lot of people in the community have actually been giving us a couple of ideas of things they want to see. And so, you know, you can't take everyone's feedback, right? but you start hearing the trends. Yeah. But we're like, okay, let's see what we can do because we're all about giving people what they want. Our Sunday brunch just kicked off. Oh, you're about to drink without me. No, I'm smelling. I'm smelling. Okay. I'm smelling uh, something as you're talking. Our, I figured our I Sunday brunch time. just <laughs> <laughs> it kicked off. Yesterday was the second day. It went really smooth. Good. And um, we talked about new ideas with that. I'm super excited. We are getting some fresh bagels and locks flown in from the city. From the city. Oh, sorry, the city. And anytime I say the city to my husband, we love New York City. So I'm like, I just want to go to the city. That's what that means. NYC. Yeah. NYC, nice. the big apple. And that's, I'm kind of like spoiled by bagels and locks from there. Like, I mean, I love all the local stuff, but nothing beats a fresh bagel. Oh, if you haven't had a New York, New York and New Jersey bagel, the big, Big as your hand, because I got big hands. Big bagels, cut across. I have a big head too. Well, that goes without saying. Um, cut in half, cream cheese with with smoked salmon. Let me tell you that that oh. that's my bougie living right. So here. that's I, what we're doing. There's gonna be like a house made cream cheese. We're getting all the capers. Like, I'm so excited. You guys aren't playing. We aren't playing here, and like I don't want to be. An employee anymore. I really just want to be a patron on Sunday brunches. Like, is that on the phone? Can I be off work maybe? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 No, Nicole's like, oh, this is five year salary. Because <laughs> <laughs> you would cost us a lot of money. Well, I'm getting, I, I'm definitely seeing the difference uh, with the rye and that barley. It's, it's much more yeah. bready. It's not nearly as sweet as, um, as like a WTD or a weeded. Uh, so I'm getting that right off the top. It's got a little bit of alcohol yeah, like on, on the nose. It but does, but it's not overwhelming. No, no, no. I meant that one's the one that I'm, that I'm watching. Now, this is the fall 2018 release for all the bourbon snobs who have to know what month it was done. I don't know. Not um, people snobs. It's not nice. Hey, I'm a, bur I'm a food snob. I'm a barbecue snob. Let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with being a snob. It just means you got dialed in tastes. Listen, uh, I wear sweatpants like all day, every day, but I'm like a purse snob. Like right. me and my sweatpants and old navy flip flops and the designer handbag. <laughs> Louis v. Uh, right now it's Tory Burch. <laughs> I don't even know any of that, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know Louis Vuitton because they walk around and it's got the LV and I'm like, I don't even I'm, I'm here with my little hippo instead of I my said, gator. Like it's caramely. Yeah, I mean you definitely get that oak. I've got that in there and that red. That's what's standing out to me the most right now. Got a taste? Yeah, let's go. I'm getting that rye. Definitely with the rye. It start, started for me much more caramelly. Yeah. And then that rye spice kicks in. Still a long finish, oaky. Tastes a lot of vanilla. That's really good. That's I, my fit. It's still finished. It's still going. Nice and dry. Probably a medium body as far mm -hmm. as mouthfeel. It's not real oily, it's not slick, but then it's not like Listerine either. You're right, but it's, it's a full mouthfeel for sure. Yeah. You gotta look at the legs. Oh, gotta look at the legs, look at this. See, so you hold it up to the light. Hold it up to the light, you spin it. Just watch those legs come down. That rod is very prominent. 
<laughs> no, but um, that's the difference you can tell with with this one oh, over the last ones that we've done is that ride. Yeah. It definitely has more of a spice to it. It's got more of a bready feel. It's not a dessert bourbon. Yeah. Um, you're not gonna. I mean, this is for me. This is like more of a cigar bourbon. This is actually yeah. my actual bottle. I'm the only one who drinks bourbon at my house. And I drink with cigars. What do I like to drink with cigars? New riffs. Because it stands up to a cigar. It does. I can see that. Yep. Because the cigar sometimes, especially no matter what you're smoking, can sometimes blow you out. So you need a bourbon that stands up over that. The sweeter bourbons tend to get a little bit more subtle and you're drinking bourbon, but you're not really tasting bourbon with a cigar. Um, um, we're talking about cigars. Oh, no. I know. I already gave the disclaimer. A Lahanna story. That I was Here we go. a disaster for human being. So it said a few weeks back, we were on the lake. And you know, it's a late day, it is what it is. And my husband calls me on the way home. I'm at Kroger. He's like, By the way, can you stop and grab some cigars? Because we were gonna go home, grill, drink some whiskey, smoke some cigars. Do you know what I bought? And if you bought Swishers, I'm probably gonna leave. It's just as bad. It might be worse. Like, you know, like I know how to buy cigars, I love them. Um, I didn't want to go into the liquor store to go get them. I was in Kroger. I bought a box of black and milds that were wine flavored, but they had a wood tip. And I get home and he's a like, wood tip. <laughs> I get home and he's That's like, what sold her. <laughs> the wood tip. I can hear it. She was looking yeah. at him all and says, That one has a wood tip. No. I, want to post. No. I get home and he's like, Did you get cigars? And I hit him that box and he's just so like, So the answer is no. <laughs> like, he just looked at me like, Man, poor guy. Yeah, no receipt. That's <laughs> not going like, back. Lahaina, I said cigars. These are black and mild. They're wine flavored. Like, wine flavored <laughs> black and mild. I mean, I'm sure somebody likes them. I, I, and that's I, fine. You do you. <laughs> not. I know you. Let me tell you, if my wife probably knows, I'd be like, well, cash wasn't full. Well, it is good. now. <laughs> I'm just like. I'm sorry, I'm such a disappointment. Oh my gosh, that, <laughs> it was yeah. so funny. His my, face. My kids, my kids, and my wife know. It. It's like when it comes to bourbon or cigars, just get get that a gift certificate. That's, I mean, he'll go get what he wants. That's exactly right. The black and mild wine flavor with a wood tip. Yeah, the tip. wood tip. I mean, some, somewhere tip. there was a marketing meeting, and they say, "What if we added a wood tip? That's going to really sell." It's probably, no, I was so tired. I was so not going to liquor, but I was just like, just. I'll take the wine flavor. <laughs> he was so disappointed. I would be too. I would be. Are right, you ready to move on? I am. You need to finish that one off. Okay. All right. So the second one we're doing is a single barrel, single barrel new riff. Um, I imagine it's got all the same makings of the of, of the Kentucky State bourbon or Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. We are at 111 proof. So we were at what was this one? Let's say 100 on this one. Yeah, 100 proof. So it's going to be kicked up. Uh, not a whole lot. I mean, so it's not like 120 or whatever. Right, no, uh, I'm excited. I've had this um, just a couple of times. I really, really enjoy it. Yep. So, um, 111, let's see, spring 2016. Here we go. All right, spring 2016. Distilled spring 2016, bottled spring 2020. I didn't even know. Let's have to see that. So, this was distilled. The first one was distilled in fall 2014. And, and, and bottled in 2018. So we're talking four year old. Um, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. It's a cool looking bottle. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, but it matches like you were talking about their whole concept. Like, right. It looks very contemporary. Yep. I like it very much. I didn't even realize they did that. The, the distilled and bottled dates. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yes. All right. I pour yours first every time. I'm going first this time. I thought it was ladies first. Like, I'm a lady, Jamie. Getting lying. <laughs> Just make sure you're not reusing your little glass. No, no, no. I set it to the side. Was that enough? You no. To... No, she said no. You heard it. There you go. <laughs> My okay, apologies to whoever has to put up with earlier. The, the, the chiropractor. So you tell Tyler you're sorry right now. Oh, over at Bluegrass Cairo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, well, so we had a conversation with him last week about whiskey. Do you ever do anything but talk to people? I'm not talking nice, Michelle. You're not getting any tasting notes from me. That's so funny. You ready? No, oh, I'm, you, I'm, I'm you committed. Can't, there's no way. 
I'm right. committed. So in the in, during this commercial break, I want to thank uh, shout out to one of our one of our viewers from the first week, Ralph and Patty Burgess from up in Northern Ohio, came down, looked at some houses this weekend. We're doing our best to make them Kentuckians. So if you know Ralph and Patty, if you don't know them, give a shout out down below. Um, we'll just see how long Hannah can hold it in. Please. It's not gonna last. I knew it wasn't. I love gonna... Ralph and Patty. Okay, I met them about a month ago. She was gonna pop. I know, I'm over here and I'm like, but I feel bad for Graham. You all know Graham, the oh. Idea Farm. He's behind the camera. Graham at the Idea Farm doing our videography. He got our like, got our audio straightened out for us today. We're not gonna have the problem we did last week. Get all that straightened out. We have you sound problems. terrible. I sound great. Um, just playing. <laughs> um, but Graham yeah, Graham at the Idea it. Farm. Um, I'm, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna break the fourth wall just for a moment. Graham. What, what what do you guys do? I know you obviously do uh, camera work and stuff like that, but you do print work and stuff too, right? Yeah, so we're a full service advertising and marketing firm focusing on um, marketing automation and digital innovation. That's your guy. Like, listen, all, all the time I'm like, Graham, I don't know how to work this. I'm Does always not surprise this. anybody watching. <laughs> <laughs> As we came in, we couldn't figure oh, out how to turn the air conditioner on. Speaking of, I need to work on Instagram promotion. I'll just text you. <laughs> Did you just taste that without me? You were fine. Water is wet. You know, for a barrel strength, I thought I was going to be blown out. Now it might have been because we started with the um, with the first one. Okay. So it's very similar. Mm -hmm. Starts out. Like, like caramel notes, the rye is very, very prominent in it. Yeah, it's definitely stepped up without without that um, that rye flavor is much more prominent with with the proof. Yeah. Um, a lot of times, for me, proof just becomes about that alcohol. But these flavors are, are more concentrated. It feels like for me. Yeah. With they, with that proofing. And I feel like you can distinguish it a lot better. The vanilla was more prominent in the finish mm -hmm. on this one, and it. To me, it wasn't as dry to finish, right. but it, it was still like a long lingering one. The mouthfeel is thicker too. It's not syrup, but it's definitely thicker. And that's, that's all because of the proofing where it's not been stepped down with the water to bring it down to the 100. So it has a much more concentrated flavor. It's still not blowing me out with the alcohol. Well, that's I, the thing. Like, I would have to be it. the high proof, I was, that was what I went at the yep. expectation, but it's not at it's, all. It's hotter, on the, it's hotter on the mouth, but it's still not blowing me out. No, not at all. It's got a little bit more Listerine effect going on, that dryness, that oakiness. Um, but I think it's just a matter of all that concentration. So it's interesting because I was, I almost expected a little bit, maybe just by email on my part, to have a little bit different flavor profile. Not like, you know, all of a sudden they're going to change the mash bill or anything like that. But this is just tastes like a much more concentrated version of this one. Um, is that kind of what you're hitting with it? Yeah. That, <laughs> Thanks for the insight, man. <laughs> dig like, dig deep. Like, <laughs> yeah. No. That's, I'm agreeing completely. Um, it, it's a step up. It's all of these flavors, but they they're a lot more prominent in this one. And I, I like the finish on this one a little bit better. I truly expect it to be hotter and to have more of a burn, but it does not. I think it's a lot smoother, which is insane for you're right. You're right on the money with, with it being smoother. Yeah. Um, and a lot of times I don't associate that. I usually think of a lower proof being smoother and the hot the higher right. being just hot. Um, but this is definitely. A, a smoother tasting barrel proof uh, and I think it's just because that concentration it's not been stepped down to the hundred yeah which is allowing the the caramels the, and the vanillas and everything and that rye readiness now it's not like I'm not getting like Reuben sandwich or anything like that type yeah of you get some sauerkraut flavor out of your burger pan yes. we're done partnership over <laughs> but I'm not getting like the the sourdough type of that right. or anything like that that's not what I'm getting out of either one of these two. Is that no. 
because it's still 30% rye and then malted barley. So it's got that oaky, savory type flavor. Neither one of these are going to be confused with a dessert food. Um, they're, they're not on the sweet, sweet end of things. They start that way for me, but it's much more savory. Yeah. This one makes a lot more like, like the stone fruit flavor at the end, um, the vanilla and the fruit. Right. But it's just more complex than this one. Yeah. It's just like a, like a, um, in cooking, it's a reduction. Yeah. You know, you take that, you take whatever you've got, whether it's juice or whatever else, you boil out that water. And then what you have is, is more like a berry gravy or whatever it is you're working with. And then you pour it over and it's all the best things about what you want from that in a concentrated form. And that's really what that, that single barrel is. Um, is. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. And I mean, spring 2016, bottle 20, spring 2020. So this is brand new. I mean, yeah, I remember this is, it. This is the COVID edition. Sorry, you riff. Um, but yeah, this we'll is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Trust me, there aren't that many people watching yet. <laughs> That's fair. But I tell you what, you guys have simply been amazing uh, in, in the last few weeks. All right, so you threatened everybody with a joke, so let's hear it. Uh, hang, on. hang on. Nicole, tell it to me. Are you ready? I'm going to need you to have the appropriate reaction. I don't, I don't know if I'm ever ready for your jokes, but go ahead. It's okay. Okay. Why do ants never get sick? I don't know why do ants never get sick. Do y'all know why ants never get sick? Ooh, I'm waiting. I want, I want an answer. I have no clue why It's ants because of their little antibodies. <laughs> New riff, y'all. <laughs> Single barrel, regular strength. Cure for bad jokes. Oh, Lord, I don't know. We'll see you all in two weeks. <laughs> bye, see ya. guys. Bye-bye.